Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. A pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. Today I would like to shout out to all the fathers, grandfathers, and father-to-be a happy, happy Father's Day to you all and hope you had a wonderful day and get some time to enjoy with your family and loved ones. These greetings are coming from me and my family and the entire YouTube family to the world. I would also like to wish my dad, my brother, my brother-in-law, and my husband, who's been a great father and amazing dad to his three kids. And I would also like to wish all my cousins who are fathers, uncles, and a big shout out to Uncle Ishwar from Auntie Datu. And to my dad, greetings are coming from Auntie Datu as well. So today I'm going to show a little bit of what we did on Father's Day. There is part two of this Father's Day video. I'm going to share the dinner tomorrow, but today is just a sneak peek of what we did today. So come on down and let's enjoy this video and you will get to see what we did today. So I have two fresh coconut here that I just break. And I'm gonna grate these up and we will make some sugar cake to share with the fathers from my church. So I just finished grating the coconut on a sit down grater. And this is what it looks like. I like to use fresh coconut because it still have that rich milkiness in it. But if you can't find fresh coconut, you can buy the grated coconut already grated from the store. and that will work as well. To start with our sugar cake, I'm gonna be adding some dried orange peel zest, some grated ginger, some cinnamon powder. I'm gonna be using some brown sugar. White sugar can work as well. Some red food coloring. I have here one can of sweetened condensed milk. I'll be using some mixed essence. And here I have my two grated coconut. We're gonna head on to the stove and we're gonna prepare this delicious, sweet and creamy sugar cake. So I just added the coconut in the pan here and I'm gonna go in with the sugar. And notice I'm only adding half a cup of sugar because I'm using sweetened condensed milk and we don't want to make it too sweet again. So we're gonna cook the coconut and the sugar for a bit until the sugar start melting. And I wanna go in now with my cinnamon powder. You can use cinnamon stick for this as well and then fish it out after. But I'm gonna use powder today. And then we will go in with the orange zest. And that's gonna add a very nice flavor to the sugar cake. And that's orange zest that I made myself. When I peel oranges, I dry the skin and I usually use it in my cooking. So now we're gonna go in with our grated ginger and the ginger is gonna add a lovely flavor and give it a nice little kick into the sugar cake. So we just wanna mix that in well. And we're gonna cook this on medium heat until it starts to become very moist. So now that the coconut and the sugar and all our spices has been cooking. We're gonna add in our sweetened condensed milk and this will make it sweet. And this would also add some creaminess to the sugar cake, look at that. And that's why I didn't add a lot of sugar because this already have sweetness in the condensed milk. Let me see here. We're gonna mix all the goodness in. And at this point, you want your stove to be on medium heat so it's not burning on the bottom. So let's add our mixed essence, red food coloring, 
a little bit goes a long way you can add any color into your sugar cake but i just love the vibrancy of the red food coloring look at the beautiful color of the red food coloring our sugar cake is now done i'm gonna turn off my stove and let it cool down for a bit so we're gonna start putting them in this baking dish on a parchment paper and we're gonna spread it out and pat it form so when it cool we will be able to cut it nice like a piece of cake and easy to share so i just want to flatten all the edges so we can get to cut this nice and form when it's cold really love that color that i'm seeing so my sugar cake is done I'm cutting up the sugar cake now on Father's Day morning because I'm going to take them to church and I'll share it with the fathers. It came out really, really nice. I'm cutting them in squares and I love the vibrancy of the color and it's like nice and like chewy and very, very delicious. I have my sugar cake wrapped up and ready to share today. So for Father's Day breakfast, it's gonna be a quick one today because it's a church day. So I made some banana oven cooked pancake and I made some eggs and plantain a little bit for everyone. We're gonna have this quickly and head out to church and I will keep you guys posted for the rest of the day. We are on our way to church now. I'm sitting in the back with the girls. The boys are in front. And it is nice and sunny today. Hopefully it stays nice for the rest of the day. So for today's Father's Day snack, we're going to make some fry dal, and we're making this to eat uh, just a sprinkle of salt, some paprika, or you can add some roasted garlic and pepper, which gives an amazing flavor. I have here some chickpeas, and these both I soak overnight, so they're nice and plump and ready to fry. Here I have some cassava that I boil. Now I'm adding just a few simple ingredients, salt, and again, I'm going in with some roasted garlic and pepper. If you have all purpose seasoning, that would work amazing. And these are the snack that my husband enjoy. So that's why I'm making this today. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of frying. So stay tuned and let me show you how we're doing this. So first we start frying the chickpeas or the chana. We're gonna fry these until they have a nice darkish brown color and until it start floating up to the top of the oil, we know that it's gonna be ready. Next, we have the split peas frying up. We're gonna add a little bit of paprika and sea salt into these or some roasted garlic and red pepper and a little pinch of sea salt and that will give these fried dal or chickpeas an amazing delicious flavor. Last but not least, we have our cassava frying up and I just can't wait until they're done to put my hands on them. I'm going to be making a delicious chutney to go with our fried cassava. Here I have some fresh ingredients to make that chutney some garlic cilantro cucumber fresh mint from my garden and some green chili i'm gonna put this into my blender and we will get a refreshing chutney to go with our fried cassava i'll show you what it looks like so this is what our father's day snack look like i have a nice 
cold mug of sorrel drink to go with all our delicious snack that we just made. I have here the seasoned fried cassava. I have our fried dal or split peas, our fried chana or chickpeas, and we flavor them up with some dried spices. And here we have our delicious mint and garlic and some cucumber and cilantro chutney. It is so refreshing. So here is that beautiful, look at this plate. It is so simple, but yet very, very beautiful to look at. And I have here, this look like a glass of red wine, but this is my glass of sorrel. So I would like to say, a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Cheers. Mm. Nothing like a cold glass of sorrel drink. So I want to show this cassava. Look how nice and soft it's cooked. And I just dunk mine into that refreshing chutney. Mmm so refreshing and so full of flavor and the cassava is just melting in your mouth so if you never had fried cassava seasoned and fried before please give it a try it is so delicious and here for all my fried dal or fried split peas friends and this was something that my husband enjoyed from back home and he requested this today so cheers. Can you guys hear that crunch? That's when you know it is a good one. And then for the chickpeas back home, we used to go like that. <laughs> we used to do like that and eat it, um, chickpeas like that. So that's what we have for a snack today for Father's Day. And I have part two of Father's Day video coming tomorrow with the dinner that we had for Father's Day. So stay tuned tomorrow. I hope you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will consider subscribing soon. Until then, I wanna say stay blessed, stay safe. We love you guys, bye for now.